Hi, welcome everyone, Bruce here. Bonjour, merci tout le monde d'être passé. On s'en va voir euh, le plus près que j'ai jamais montré à vous euh, de la surface. Nous sommes sur euh, Aristarchus, le cratère Aristarchus, Aristarchus. Si vous voulez, merci, bienvenue. C'est un vidéo euh, que vous allez apprécier. Thanks everyone for stopping by. We're going to look at this in great detail. Do you like, appreciate the red filter? Pretty clashy, eh? Well, say to yourself, we're looking at a surface that it's near impossible to see. Just with a regular camera, some will say, right? Well, that's what I'm using, just a regular camera. Take down the exposure. <laughs> it's what I keep saying all the time. It's a beautiful view um, of the Aristarchus Plateau, extremely close, seeing all the mountains, cliffs, ridges, and even that connected construction that is all linked and has its own unique color that is near impossible to see. It has the same reflectivity as the surface and going unnoticed. Regardons voir pourquoi que les structures sont dures à voir. Un simple filtre vert, une inversion de photo à la droite, on voit une grande différence. Big difference here on the right with um, an inverted photo straight up. Um, surface that we could see edges, you know, square shapes, geometrical shapes. And over on the left, if you look, you could see it's literally hard to see with everything, you know, obstructing the view. With simple inversion, we can see a lot of truth. Check this out. We're looking at a surface with overlapping, overlaying uh, massive platform like, and again, I say platform like objects, meaning they're just so massive, uh, they look constructed. And if they're not tops or tarps, they are massive uh, platforms that were like here on earth we could very easily leak cement or you know pave some asphalt it's not that hard say to yourself if we can do that do you not think an alien species that is supposedly more advanced than us could not do that of course they could right any any primitive race at one point is going to catch on uh, cement you know i mean clay huts hello way back okay we didn't invent clay huts a few days ago here um, look at the surface. Do you see what looks like a haze or a fuzziness? Well, that is the most beautiful thing on the surface and the most beautiful thing that you want to see in a photo. It's actually smaller objects and or a haze that is over top of those massive structures. We see here as we zoom in, some of the craters, if not all of them, have these massive ramparts that run alongside of the craters. Atop of them, we often see brilliant lights. Whether along the Terminator line or not, they are the same reflectivity as the surface and hard to see. But of course, sorry, along the Terminator line, it is revealing us a lot more of um, exactly what's down there. Why? Because, you know, the shadow is clashing underneath these massive forms and shapes on the surface, uh, thus giving us a very clear glimpse of what is up there. Even though we don't know what things are up there, we can still, clear enough, um, very clearly see that. See, that's the difference with a 14-inch telescope and a 9 or a 10 or any other size, um, you know, 16, and it keeps on going, 25, 32. The little details that appear alongside these objects. Well, the bigger the scope, of course, I know for a fact my technique is going to show me all, if not every single UFO or anything and everything that is flying over top of the surface of the moon. The time to wake up is now, my friends. It is coded in our DNA not to believe this. The ones that break away from the force field over our minds can see outside. In this very convincing illusion, 
that we know as our reality. reflective panels. Let's get in troll close. Here's Clavius Creator right there. And we're going to zoom in several more times to get even closer. Today and this week, we're we'll be pushing the limits.
time to subscribe and sharing it on other platforms. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>